Way below or way above. It's just too extreme. Chanel Jones remembers hearing about his older brother's arrest back in 1987. I was shocked. I was shocked, but I was also numb. How can this happen? How can this be? Oh, it's not like that. Only two years apart, Chanel and LeBrew were inseparable as kids. He always told me about discipline. Always told me about discipline. You've got to be cool, calm, and collective, Chanel. Watch where you go. Were you and your brother close? Right, really close. He said you were protective of him. Yeah, make sure you never got in trouble. And LeBrew set an example by staying out of trouble himself. Your brother said that you don't have a violent bone in your body, that you've never been violent. No. My brother has never been arrested, no criminal past. Chanel says LeBrew was a caring and devoted son. And especially when I went off into the service. He took care of my mother, he took care of things at home. Now she was put in that position. She, she was dragged and then her, her head was smashed against oh, those. No. We showed Chanel the crime scene photos. It was the first time he had ever seen exactly what his brother was convicted of doing. This here is insanity. This is the work of a madman. Can you no, imagine? No, he's, he can't do anything like this. He doesn't have the type of consciousness, that heart, to do something like this. I would be less likely to, to think that the perpetrator in this instance was, uh, was someone that had absolutely no indication across the course of their life that they had deviant sexual interests or, you know, aggressive impulses of some kind, some kind of violent, uh, violent history. Mr. Jones, my name is O'Donoghue, and I'm from the District Attorney's Office. Chanel is convinced that LeBrew became a fall guy to detectives looking for a quick arrest. It seems like it's very transparent. They just looked right through my brother like, oh, just get this guy, let's go. You know, he's black. He doesn't know what's going on. It's convenient for us. Whose biggest mistake, Chanel says, was trusting the police. He left all of his faith in their hands, and they deceived him. I'm going to be asking you some questions about an incident that took place. Leaving his brother with only bittersweet memories. I smell him, I see him, especially at the Y. We were children. I can see the little children. I can see LeBru and Chanel. The little LeBru and Chanel.